Two days before the United States opens the 2012 FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup, the U.S. team held its one allowed training in the game venue, running through an hour practice at the Hiroshima Big Arch Stadium. We talked to U.S. head coach Steve Swanson and several U.S. players to get their thoughts on the big opening match against Ghana on August 20th. You know, we feel like we're at a good place right now, and uh, I think we're hopefully we're, we're rested. We've got one more session tomorrow, and then we have the game on Monday, and we're we're really excited. I know they're you know did individual meetings with the players today, and they're all <laughs> you ready to play? Yeah, we're dying to play. They're just dying to play. So well, that's a good sign right now. If I could say one word about the mood, to be excited. I mean. Um, we had we warmed up on the side a little bit and everyone was anxious to step on the field and once we got in the field everyone's smiles went through the roof um, our uh, vocally confidence it was loud it was energetic um, our legs are feeling good I mean we've been here for a few days um, and just overall excited I mean we've been waiting for this like you said a long time and now we have that opportunity to show the world kind of what we have I'm already so excited for the game against Ghana um, what really gives me confidence is my teammates, you know, looking around and seeing that everybody's so excited and so ready, so ready to step on the pitch, like, just gets me excited and I feel like this team is really ready to play on Monday. It's hard to put it into words when people ask me how I feel about going to the World Cup. Um, excitement is an understatement and just that the game is two days away is almost unreal. It's been surreal this entire time and being on the stadium today and being able to practice just made it so exciting and we all are so anxious to play. The 2012 FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup in Japan features 16 teams divided into four groups of four. The top two finishers in each group will advance to the eight-team quarterfinals. The United States was drawn into Group D which many say is the most difficult in the competition. It features two two-time champions of this tournament in the United States and Germany, as well as the always tough Ghanaians and longtime Asian power China PR. I think it's going to be a very competitive game. We're going to have to play one of our better uh, games of the year to beat them, and we know that. And uh, But that's the way it should be. We're excited about that. I think um, our group uh, gives us challenges in, 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 in each game, especially this first game, and that's the one we're focusing on the most right now. It just means so much to me to be able to put the crest on and wear it over my heart and be able to stand next to these girls who every single player out here is an outstanding player. I feel very honored to be out here. You can watch all three group matches for the United States on the ESPN family of networks starting on August 20th when the USA takes on Ghana with coverage beginning at 2.50 a.m. Eastern time on ESPNU and ESPN3. Of course, you can follow along on USsoccer.com's match tracker as well as on Twitter at USsoccer underscore YNT.